first thing you need to do is be safe. Disconnect the appliance or turn off the breaker to avoid electric shock. Today we're going to be working on a Frigidaire model. In this case, the model number of this refrigerator was removed for some reason. But this is the basic uh, model. So I hope this video can help you guys. The first problem that we have with this refrigerator is that it's freezing up the evaporator coils and the homeowner is complaining about a freezer working refrigerator not cooling. So we're going to start by removing all the racks and trays and ice bucket out of the um, freezer side to be able to get to the evaporator and check our defrost thermostat and defrost heater on the freezer compartment. We're going to start by removing the uh, middle uh, tray and the top. You just got to push it to one side and pull it out. Then we're going to remove all uh, four screws that are holding the panel for the evaporator coils. After we remove the panel, what we're going to do is remove the um, harness where the defrost thermostat and defrost heater and also the fan motor are connected. Now we can hear the fan motor, but um, we still got to test the uh, defrost heater and defrost thermostat. In this case, what we're going to do is just follow the wires from the defrost thermostat and the defrost um, heater in the harness and check with our ohm meter or check for continuity. In this case, I have a tester that checks continuity with tone, so I just have to uh, be paying attention to the tone. And in this case, um, is giving me continuity so it's beeping every time I test the um, terminals that comes from the uh, um, defrost thermostat and also the defrost heater now normally when you see a coils like this the most common issue will be the defrost thermostat or the defrost heater but not all the time and this is the reason why I did this video um, the other thing that it could be is the uh, main control board, but not so fast. Sometimes it could be the uh, damper. If this damper, the mechanism on the damper is not letting it open all the way or it's not open at all, it's no cold air going into the refrigerator and that could that could cause this problem now we're going to go ahead and remove all this main control board and as you see you remove all those screws to be able to get to it there's one more screws right there um, by the water filter housing after you remove all the screws that i pointed out um, and you remove the one by the uh, filter housing then the whole panel comes down so the next thing you're going to do is carefully um, remove the harness from the uh, computer board. All this panel has the uh, main control board, the uh, damper mechanism, and um, defrost, uh, I mean uh, temperature control thermostat. So as you see. I got all the piece out
and I was trying to get everything on camera but I'm doing this job by myself so it's a little difficult this is the part that we're gonna be replacing and as you're gonna see in this picture you can see that the mechanism is broken so it's not opening and closing the way it's supposed to as a matter of fact it got stuck on the closed position and there's no cold air going on the uh, refrigerator side this is the uh, brand new part and for some reason my camera stops working when I was replacing the um, the part but it's very simple you just remove it from the housing and just install all the harness that goes which is basically only three connectors one for the switch one for the motor and one for the ground now remember to insert the uh, the, uh, the temperature control thermostat right back where it was which is that black tube right there that is our um, temperature control thermostat plug the harness back in place and go ahead and start um, installing all our screws we're going to start from the uh, one in the back which is the uh, bigger screw and then we gonna go ahead and do the rest we're gonna do the one for the uh, filter housing our bit got stuck in in the uh, screw so we just got it out and install all three screws on the front the one on the uh, side and we will plug in our filter housing the way as what the way it was and lastly we will install the cover for the uh, water lines and reinstall our screw for the uh, water line cover make sure all the screws are tight now don't over tighten it either because that can be an issue we're gonna go ahead and turn it on and put it back in normal setting and this is the way you put your filter in and remove it I didn't got that at the beginning of the video but I can show it to you now and go ahead and defrost all the coils if they were frost and go ahead and install our um, cover panel for our evaporator coils and reinstall all four screws to secure the um, evaporator coils now remember and this type of um, panels you have to uh, screw put the screw in place but don't tighten it until you got all four in place because otherwise if you tighten the first one the other ones are not gonna line out just go ahead and install our racks back in place just the way they work type try to take a picture before you remove it. the way it's easier for you to um, reinstall it back in place we're going to install our bottom tray and we already felt air blowing into the refrigerator side reinstall the light bulb if you if the uh, rags has this secure uh, rubber uh, clamps just put them back where they were and that's it if this video helped you in any way please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for future videos thanks for watching